this is so direct to the point where if you are Drake or yeah. if you are somebody like a J. Cole, well, and all of them say they're number one, yeah. you can't just let somebody and get away with this. And, and also, you can't get away with that, Drake, because your performance on First Person Shooter, I, I've said this on record, I hate it. Oh, really? I freaking hate it, bro. When when Drake started going, Nadine, Claudine, Justine, I said, I, I wish somebody would have tapped him in the shoulder like, and went, hey, yo, dog, you know, this cold in the, in the stool right now, bro. Uh, 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 like, like, don't do that shit. But I think it goes the, back to what we were saying right about now, J. Cole and, and, and Drake, right? They have this dynamic to where neither one of them want to step on each other's toes. But y'all have to. Is there, that, that has, right? That, they have this dynamic where... Yeah. Oh, you're great, yeah. and I'm great, but and we're great. Is there? A, is, that's not hip hop. <laughs> I've never that's heard yeah. niggas hip hop say we're great. Yeah. That's, like, how, that's how I'll be if I was a fucking rapper. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, yeah. So I hate competition. When I see Drake take a back seat to J Cole yeah. on a song, and it's on his album, which mm -hmm. means he has the final but, approval. Yeah, yeah. Like he he okayed that whole but, song. But rappers can't be competitive and cool. If I was a rapper, right, and this makes me think about in the currents, like, mm -hmm. it's way long ago. I won't go that deep. But as a rapper, say it. We're go not. <laughs> go, no, go for the. Oh, LL Cool J yeah, and, ca and Cannabis. Okay. Right? Like, LL told Cannabis, Cannabis at the time, he's a younger rapper. He's getting his shit up. He's, he's pretty known, pretty mm -hmm. famous. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, he starts talking to LL about, yo, 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 that tattoo you got around your, your hand, like, like, I could get that shit. <laughs> And then L was like, yo, get out of here, man. <laughs> Cause you know, LL Cool J is who LL Cool J is at the time. Capricorn shit. Oh, and he's a Capricorn. Oh my gosh. So, no, like, and Savon is like that too, yo. Get I'm your here. own shit. <laughs> right? So what what does cannabis do? Cannabis gets on uh uh 4321 and talks about wanting to get the same tat as LL. Mm -hmm. LL copped in his competitive bag and hopped on the same song and started getting that cannabis. Yeah. Like, nigga. Fuck, I just told you about that shit. So my, my question to y'all is, is there a way to be competitive but still be cool? I, I think when you guys are only, like you said, it's only a handful of y'all, right? It's only a fan, handful of these lyricists, these legends, these big threes, et cetera. We can't just come to a pact to rap really well against each other and still be cool? Fuck no. Nah, you can't Why? Do that. Is that, is that what's happening now? No? Uh, nah, this end game, Reggie. I don't no, think this is end game. are they just going at each other like in hip hop right now? Or what? Like, what's the difference? Uh, Ah. Do you know why it's in game? Why? Because there's so many different players yes. involved. Yes. yes. That's why, That's why it's in game. But you, the, like, I hear your argument if it was a focus group of just Kendrick, J. Cole, and Drake. Mm -hmm. But because this bleeds into mm -hmm. Future, Metro. The weekend, mm -hmm. Future. Metro, mm -hmm. Twenty One Savage is going to be forced to pick a side. Yep. Dirk. Lil Durk is going to be yeah. forced but, to pick but, a side. But what about? But what about? You're right because I want to go down that list, mm -hmm. right? I'm talking about Drake and Cole being competitive. Travis Hit Scott picked a side. I feel like if Drake and Cole, oh, I feel like I see what I was yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. like if Drake and Cole were more competitive when they put out first person mm -hmm. shooter, I don't see Kendrick Lamar being as tight. Oh, uh, because on, on first person sh shooter, like them competing, it was too nice. Yeah, like, yes. it was too nice. There you go. And I was That's like, no, you really got to like come yeah. with it. Like, why why really can't y'all both say, okay, yo, okay. We, both, we both got a pen. But Let's again, show up on this song when, and then we cool. We it still was too friendly. Tour. It was too friendly. When you're at yeah. that level though, you are privy to information that others aren't. So there's no way that Kendrick is looking at J. Cole like, nigga, you know I don't fuck with this nigga. But you're parading around with him on the tour. Their you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> that's on what tour, was, on tour songs, bro. They was in a Rolls Royce together. Shit. Like <laughs> you know how much you really gotta fuck with a nigga to be in a Rolls Royce with him and take a picture. <laughs> I've only done that with my dad. Like, I don't think I've that's ever weird. done that with another nigga in my life. That's so weird. for Kendrick sitting back, like, wait, hold up. Okay, I get it. Maybe I'm not the friendliest with you, yeah. but if I see you with him and you know how I feel about him, mm -hmm. it's fuck both of y'all. And the flowers. I'm so tired of him giving J. Cole flowers. My head... My head is gonna. But that, what? But that he didn't really get flowers. Though. I'm he gonna said, get a headache, Reggie. He basically said, I, "I'm I couldn't be you without me. I couldn't be myself without you." That's not flowers. That's more like yo. Thank but you it's for weird, and that's yo, why I hate I looking at this from this lens because. If I'm a competitor, if I feel like I'm Muhammad Ali and I'm J. Cole, I don't accept that as a gimmick because everybody knows when you go on tour or when there's any live performances, there's a run of show, right? Yeah. The run of show keeps you on schedule, right? Mm -hmm. The top of the show, we're going to intro like this. Mm -hmm. Midway through, we're going to do this. We're going to close it at this, right? Any type of live performance, there's a run of show, whether it be a concert, whether it be a play, 
every single thing on a stage has a plan to it. Nothing is by coincidence or yeah. accident unless you're Will Smith and Chris Rock. Other than that, you're good, yeah. right? Yeah. So when J. Cole gets on that stage and looks at Drake and accepts the praise from him, that is orchestrated. That is manufactured. That is not an organic moment. And you want to know? I think what, it is. I, I, I think it's a complete I opposite, Reggie. They think, do that, they, but they do that like all the time. Though. I hate it. That's yeah, but what that's, I fucking you know what's funny? hate. Didn't it, we? Bro. That the last time I was I here, I think so we talked much. about that. I do think they genuinely appreciate each other. Award I really shows, do. Like, shows, performances, things being. Do y'all remember? Um, did. This is years ago. Little Wayne versus Drake tour. Yep. Yeah. Even that concept alone is ingenious, right? And it makes me think like, what, were you comfortable, Drake, with doing that because you already looked at you already looked at yourself as Wayne's predecessor? So it didn't feel like comp. So just throwing a verse on it was just like, if this was Drake versus J. Cole, think about how entertaining that would have been. That would have been amazing. Oh my God, I would love it. Um, imagine yeah. if the, con the concept around the concert was Drake versus Cole. And then incorporating however they could to make that show great and better. Not all these fake ass fire, oh, without you, I wouldn't be like, nigga, please. But I don't think that, okay, I get what you're saying. It's like yeah. for like the show aspect of it, like the aura of it. Yeah. That, that it, I feel like two things can be true. That, like, that is also true. Is that is also true, but they, I do think they're genuinely like, they love each other. Yeah, I, Karen, I, I can see that. But I ain't going so, to. <laughs> This Don't nigga. let a nigga pull me Yo. on stage every day and be like, this nigga. Yo, I love you, I my love nigga. You. Like, you, you the like... greatest nigga I ever wanted to. That's some, like, <laughs> Like, come I don't on, agree bro. with that. Nah, don't I'm ever do that. that, bro. Don't do that shit. Like, <laughs> you, know, because... you and Alex do that on the pod every but fucking week. Like, I don't plan it. But that's no, the but thing. That's it's basically... not planned. But it, no, but they, Reggie's it's right. It's a part of their show. But hold on, hold on. It's not planned, but Reggie's still right. We, we're competitive on here. Because we know we want to put on a good show and we do feel differently, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when we leave, it's still peace. <laughs> no, but like, we don't got no real smoke with each other. That's no. why I'm like, why can't we be competitive and still be but cool? No, but no. That's no? like if every single time we came into the studio, yeah. in that minute 53, yeah. me and Alex look at each other. And hug. Hey, man. It's time to show love. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> no! Wait, do nah, they, hell no. They you do, can't do that. They do that like every single show? Yeah. Every show. Yes, for sure. yes he yeah, pulls J. Show. Cole out and says, this is my brother here, right here. And Yo, I'm going to brother. shower you with love. Yeah. Like, I, I'm it's not saying go. he shouldn't feel like that. Oh, he can't. But when it's it, orchestrated it's in that way, it's, it's disingenuous. Yeah, for it's sure. It's disingenuous. And, and again, as a competitor, for Cole to sit there and accept that, like going back That's to the, aside. going back to the Lil Wayne and Drake <laughs> shit, right? Yeah. I don't know if y'all know, but like that caused a, a, a moment of contingency between Lil Wayne and Drake. You talking that, about the tour? That yeah. tour, yeah. like, put a wedge between them where they kind of went their separate ways for a little bit yeah. because of that specific tour. Mm. Because Drake was ascending to a level where Lil Wayne was like, wait, what the oh, fuck shit. is going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they kind of started to clash behind the scenes. It wasn't like a beef. You know about that, right? Yeah, yeah. But Drake like, was becoming too powerful. He was becoming, and also, and again, this is what we got: Drake be fucking niggas, bitches. 